Hey guys, Chris Fix here, and today I'm going to show you how to install brand new headlight lenses. You're probably wondering why the screen is so cloudy. Well, that's because you're looking out of an old headlight lens. So if it's hard to see out of it, imagine how hard it is for the light to shine out of it. So we're going to replace it with these nice new crystal clear headlamps. So I've shown you plenty of how-to videos on how to make your headlights clear again when they're all dull and hazy, but sometimes they're permanently damaged with cracks, crazing, or you get a little carried away with a heat gun. The other side's in better shape, but still there are little cracks and chips in the lens, and they're all hazy, so I'm going to replace it. Before you go out spending big bucks on replacing headlights, go check out my headlight restoration video. If that doesn't work, then you need new headlights, but if it does work, it'll only cost you a few bucks, so it's worth a shot. I'll put the link to that video at the end of this video, so stay tuned. So here's some nice new headlights. They have the protective film on them, I'll take that off after we install them. Just to give you an idea of the clarity difference. And obviously you can see there's a huge difference on this side. So here's a quick view at night. You can see the old headlights. These are original headlights. And at the end of this video, I'll show you the difference between these headlights and the brand new ones. This headlight replacement will be identical for 1998 to 2008 Mazda B-Series trucks. It'll also be very similar for the Ford Ranger. When looking at the new headlight for reference, you can see there are three studs that hold this in. One is here, one below that one, and one on the other side at the bottom. So those bolts are located here. If we look underneath that one, you can kind of see the stud right down there. And if we look off to the side here, you can see the stud at the bottom there. All you need is a pliers and we'll get in here and you just grab this clip just right at the top there. And you just wiggle it back and forth and the clip comes out. I'm just grabbing this part right here. Keep these. You're going to have to use them on the new headlight. So we'll go get the other one out, which is over here. You could also potentially use your hand, depending on how stuck these are, and just pull up with your fingers, and it pops right out, just like that. So now we have that one, and that one out. So all we have left is that last one under there, and to access that, we're gonna go under the truck. So I'm underneath the driver's side headlight, and you just lie on your back, you look up, and you can see it right there. There's your last stud, but this one doesn't have a metal clip. What you have to do for this one, I'm using the new headlight as an example. There's two anchor clips in here. You just press these anchor clips in and then you'll push the headlight outwards. So you just want to collapse these anchor clips. If you can't use your fingers, use the needle nose pliers or use that pliers you used before. So you just want to feel for where those anchor clips are and then squeeze them and then push. So now the headlight is just getting held in by the wiring harness in the back. So you don't want to push this out all the way. Now we could just gently pull this out. Then you just turn this. This comes off and the headlight bulb will actually wiggle out. And you don't want to touch the light bulb lens and you don't want to shock it, so be careful. Again, you don't want to touch the bulb. You don't want to shock the bulb, so don't like hit it or shake it hard or anything. You could see half my clip is broken. There should be another clip coming out across this hump right here, but there isn't, there's just one. So these do get brittle and they do break easy, so just be very careful. We're going to take the light bulb out. I'm able to just wiggle this. Good. And this whole light bulb and holder could come out. We don't need it. The new headlights have it built in. You can see it right here on the new headlights. So now the next part is probably the hardest part of this whole thing. It's just aligning these studs into the holes because they do move. So just try to get them as straight as possible. We'll connect our headlight bulb pigtail. Good. And now we're going to just try to align these studs in their corresponding holes. We're just going to try to push it in. On the headlights they have this like little star adjuster here. It's just to keep your headlights aligned and then there's this little notch that fits in. So you won't be able to push the headlight in because that notch will get in the way sometimes. So just take your finger and spin. Spin that, just so that now this will slide right in, and it'll come all the way through. The bottom one is in, the top one is in, and then we should just be able to push this. There we go, that bottom clip in the bottom corner here, you know, the anchor clip, it's locked in. When looking at this top stud here, we want to make sure that it's pushed all the way in, so the little gap here could fit your clip in it. So we'll get our clip, push it down till it locks, just like so, and that's locked in. 
do the same thing for this one. Get it slid in, and that clicks right in just like that. And now this headlight is locked into place. There should be no wiggle, and we're done with the driver's side. There's no reason to show you the passenger side because it's the exact same process as the driver's side. So let's skip to the part where both new headlights are installed. These new headlight lenses look awesome. It's amazing how much more clear they are, and it still has the protective film on top of it. Take that off. Oh man, that is nice. Look at that. Take the protective film of this one off too. So let's take a look at what these look like at night and how bright they are. Get a before and after. Old headlights, new headlights. See if they are in fact brighter or if they just look better. So we're going to do a comparison of the looks on the truck at night. Give you an up close view of the old driver's side headlight and the old passenger side headlight. When you look at these headlights, you can see the headlight lens has a lot of light reflecting off of it. It's not very clear. And now we'll go look at the brand new crystal clear headlights. You can see the difference already. And those are totally different than the old ones, as one would expect. So now we're looking inside the truck. This is before, and this is after. And I split screen it for you so the top is before, the bottom's after, and you can really see the difference in brightness. So this is definitely gonna be a lot safer to drive with and was well worth the money. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. The top tip for this video is when you install new headlights, make sure that you aim them properly after you install them. Instead of making this video a lot longer, I'm going to make a headlight aiming video, and I'll get into specifics on how to exactly aim your headlights so you can maximize your lighting, yet you won't blind anybody on the road. I'll put that video up on the screen, you could click that, or you could find a link to that video in the description below, along with the links to the Chris Fix Facebook and Twitter pages. Check it out!